Okay, uh, hello again, uh, Roddy Lee's here, and we're just going to try and continue with uh, this year's, that's the 2015 uh, National 5 Mathematics Paper 1. Okay, so uh, number 9, uh, write the following in order of size, starting with the smallest toe. So you're given, you're given uh, three uh, values, you've got the cos, cosine of 90, cosine of 100, cosine of 300. It obviously it is a big help if you can actually draw a cos graph. So hopefully if you practice this, cos from 0 to 360, cos of nothing is 1, uh, 0 at 90, down to minus 1 at 180, 270, 300. So obviously not, not the best uh, graph in the world, but we can get a few uh, details from it. Cos of 90 is uh, 0. Now the cos of a hundred, um, whatever it is, is going to be negative. So we can we can appreciate that the cos of a hundred is negative, and we can also appreciate that the cos of three hundred is going to be positive. We don't know the values, uh, but we can at least put them in order, right? So uh, in order, uh, the cosine of a hundred. Uh, let's see. Let's do they want the smallest first, so that would be the negative one. The cosine of a hundred. Uh, and then the cosine of 90, which we know is 0, and then the cosine of 300 would be the biggest out of the 3. Okay, and let's move on to question 10. Okay, question 10, here we go, try and centre it for you. A 10 couples take part in a dance competition. The couples are given a score for each round. The scores in the first round were... 16, 27, 12, 18, 26, 21, I think that is, 27, 22, 18 and 17. Uh, question A, part A, calculate the median and semi-interquartile range for these scores. Okay, um, Okay. first thing uh, we need to do is put them in order. So as you can see, I've done there probably exactly what you did just earlier on today, scoring things out as you put them in order. So in order... They go 12, 16, 17, 18, 18, 21, 22, 26, 27, and another a 27. The median is the one in the middle. Obviously, with being 10 couples, there's not actually a number in the middle. So it has to be between 18 and 21. Halfway between 18 and 21 is 19 and a half. Now, if we're talking about the semi-interquartile range, we need the upper quartile. It's the median of the top five numbers, one in the middle there, 26. The uh, lower quartile is the median of the bottom five numbers, 17. So, uh, just uh, reiterating, the median is 19.5. SIQ, semi-interquartile range, is the interquartile range, that's 20. 6, take away 17. Semi, perhaps as its name implies, means you half it, divide by 2. 26 takes 17 is 9, divide by 2, 4.5. Okay. Part B, uh, in the second round the median was 26 and the semi quartile range was 2.5. Make two uh, valid, kind of sensible comparisons between the scores in the first and second rounds. Okay, you want to talk about the mean, uh, the median. Median has increased from 19.5 to 26, so the scores have generally improved. They've gone up a little bit there, 19.5 to, tw to 26. semi to quartile range has decreased from 4.5 to 2.5. What that means is that the second round scores are less varied. They're more kind of grouped together than they were in the first round. Okay, and let's move on. 13, we'll get to in a minute. Question 11 was a pretty straightforward simultaneous equation. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I've written it out, as you might expect from me. I've written it a little bit bigger so as you can see it. Um, my tactic is to usually go for this one. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to make them both 10s. 5 uh, 3s, 5 2s, 5 17s, 5 3 x's. 15x plus 10y, 5 2y's, 5 17's, as you can see I did a little sum over here, 85, and in order to make that 5y a 10y, you've got to double it, so you have to double the whole lot, that's going to give you 4x plus 10y equals 8. Obviously there's a lot of ways to do this, um, 
my tactic is, would I rather do 15 take 4 or 4 take 15? Well, I'd rather do 15 take 4, so this one has to be negative. So I'm going to multiply this line by negative 1. I've just drawn that, I've written that, sorry, uh, down to here. And I've multiplied this by minus 1, and I've written that here. Okay. Uh, 15x take 4x is 11x, plus 10y take 10y, they've gone. 85 take 8 is 77. 11, what's a 77? Of course, that's 7. And then I can go back to any equation I wish in order to get the y, and I'm going to pick the one with the easiest numbers. There it is there. 3 times x plus 2 times y is 17. Now, if x is uh, 7, 3 7s are 21, plus 2y gives 17. 2y would be minus 4. And y would be minus 2, therefore. Okay, so x is 7 and y is minus 2. Okay, on to question 12. Okay, we did a few of these in practice, so hopefully you, you remembered it. You um, factorise the top, factorise the bottom, something should cancel. It uh, always does with this kind of sum. x squared take 4x is a common factor. That's x times x take 4 in a bracket. You can see I've kind of cancelled it out. Um, x squared plus x take 20 is uh, x take 4 times x plus 5. Hopefully you can see that. The x take 4s cancel and you're left with x over x plus 5. And that's it there. So let's turn over for question 13. And... 13 and 14, here we go. 13, uh, express 4 over root 8 with a rational denominator. Okay, so again, hopefully you've done a few of these. You multiply 4 over root 8 by whatever that is, root 8, root 8 over root 8. So you're essentially multiplying it by 1, so you're not making it bigger or smaller, you're just changing its appearance. So I, I must have, I've kind of laboured this a little bit, but here we go, 4 times root 8, 4 root 8, root 8 times root 8 is 8, so I've got 4 root 8 over 8 uh, over here. Um, what's root 8? Root 4 root 2. The root of 4 is 2, so 4 2's are 8 over 8, and you can see my uh, working over here. That's your root 4, that's uh, the 2. 4 2's are 8. There we have it there, over 8. They cancel, and you're left with root 2. So that's your final answer for question 13. Question 14, okay, one of these ones that you kind of know or don't know, uh, maybe practiced or haven't. 8 to the power of 5, 3, 5 over 3. Well that's 8 to the power of 1 over 3 times 5. 5 times 1 over 3 is 5 over 3, that's how this works. Um, to the power of a third means the cube root. The cube root of 8 is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 gives 8. Cube root of 8 is 2. 2 to the power of 5, uh, as you can see, I've really laboured this. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. And that's paper 1 done.